Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use some custom CSS to create a very creative border for collage images in your Squarespace website. What we're going to be doing today is taking some custom code to create a unique border that will go around the text but behind the image, creating a really interesting layered effect. Now the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below, but borders are super customizable. We've got all kinds of options and I wanna show you what you're gonna to wanna to change in this code to make it look perfect and unique for your own website. So let's hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I have a collage image here. I've got a button on it as well. And then another one down here featuring the collage image on the left and the content on the right. I'm gonna hop into edit mode really quick to show you. And I should mention, I am using my 7.1 demo site, but this code is exactly the same for Squarespace 7. So if I click on this image type, you'll see, moving that over here, under the design tab, we've selected the collage image. Now here you can position it left or right, doesn't matter, I'll show you the code's gonna work exactly the same no matter which way you set that up. And then you can enable a button or not, totally up to you. But that's the image type that we're using. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll hop into our custom CSS panel to apply this code right here. So I'm gonna to navigate to design and then all the way down to custom CSS. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste this right out of my notes here. This is exactly the code that's in the description below. So you can see, check it out. Now we have a unique border that goes around, image on that side, content on this. Now you'll notice it's slightly offset. There's some changes we can make that you're gonna to wanna to make for your own website so that it looks great with the images that you have. I'd also like to scroll down here so you can see, works on this one that is flip-flopped to the other side. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this border first. The very first line is saying, okay, we've got an image, specifically the collage image, take that image card wrapper, which is what this content lives in, and we're gonna give it a unique border. Now the first part of this border is the width of the border. That's a pixel number right there. I can change this to five if I want it to be super thick or 35 if I want it to be a gigantic line, whatever you're comfortable with for your own style. After that, we have different options, solid, dotted, or dashed. And then after that, we can change up the color. So if I wanted this to be orange, for example, I can literally just type the word orange and it will change. Or I can say teal and it'll be an interesting teal compared to the grayscale of that image right there. You can use a hex color code, RGB, RGBA, HSL, insert acronym here, any type of color you'd like, or just literally list out the name of a web safe color and you'll be fine. So then after that, I wanna point this out to you, we take that image card right here and we need to make sure its background is transparent. If I remove this line, here, let's try that. If I remove that line, you'll see I'm still gonna get that blue background for the particular color theme that I'd set up in my site styles and my Squarespace menu here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to transparent to make sure that I get that effect of having it look like it's inside that border, no background color to it. Then after that, I have a bottom margin of 5%. I can adjust that to 8% if I wanna scoot it down a little bit or 20% if I want it to be really offset to that image adjust that margin bottom to whatever suits the style for your own website. Now, last but not least, this part's kind of important. This part right here lifts the image to the top layer and it makes sure that it actually fits within that border. So the border will go slightly wider than the image. I did that by scaling it. If I remove that line, you'll see the border kind of matches to the top of it and it just doesn't look quite as interesting as it does when I scale that image down just a little bit. Now CSS is super customizable, so I really want you to be comfortable changing those codes to make them look the way that you want them to look. Again, I've scaled the image using that transform and that last line there. Feel free to adjust that in a way that suits your style and definitely play around with that bottom margin so that it lines up perfectly for your image. And that's it for this tutorial. Again, the codes are listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.